Well, Jason, uh, a point that was probably deserved this afternoon, but we made it interesting for ourselves, didn't we? I would have said the same after the game. Um, it's like a broken record, you know, we start well, um, get into great areas, final pass, final decision. Um, and, and, and I would have said exactly the same after the game because we got into great areas, um, had countless opportunities in their box and, and just didn't finish with a shot. And then Sod's Law, you know, comes up. I mean, Louis Maloney, he's, he's a Middlesbrough lad, great player. <laughs> and I mean, it's a great strike. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's moved all over the place. Um, but then we've got to show reaction and we didn't show the reaction. And that's what's disappointing because we start the game so well. Then we've gifted them, well, it wasn't a gifted a goal, but it was a great strike. But then we've tried to play out in, in an area where you know sometimes you don't need to, um, and then we've, we've, we don't get chances like that. No. Um, and then it's a mountain to climb, mountain to climb, and it, you, know, you roll the dice. You know, you know what I mean. You, sometimes it works for you, sometimes it doesn't. But today, fortunately, um, you know the, the, the gamble paid off. It is weird football, isn't it? Because you know we, we had two really good chances, presentable chances, could have been legitimately two 0 up, and then within the blink of an eye, we're on the back foot and two 0 down. And, it was just, it felt a little bit hard. The lads must have felt hard done by, so a great reaction. Great reaction. Um, people question character. People can question, you know, whether you, whether you're good enough or not. But the character today was really good. Um, I think for large parts of the game, we, we, we were the better side. I think we had the, the most chances, the most, you know, we're in, the, we're in the area more times than Scarborough were with us. Uh, but if you don't take, your, like you say, don't take your chances, you don't win fo football matches. Um, like you said, you, you, we always said it's not a squad, it's not a team of eleven or sixteen. It's the lads who, who came off the bench and the ones who have been out the squad um, and came in today. And, and you know, today was was them. Um, it was eleven that started, but also the subs. I thought Spark was immense when he came on. You know, I mean, John Lafoudo was exceptional. Could could have had two or three uh, and fit and reward that he scored the goal. But then. <laughs> We sometimes get carried away because like we're in the dugout we were all you know euphoric and, and going for the win and then we could have easily lost it at the end, um, which which would have been an absolute uh, sickness. Um, but that's probably why I got out of this game. You know what I mean? I've aged about 20 years. I think Tatey's bloody knocked me tooth out. So it is what it is. But like I said, a great game for the neutral. But um, I'm more delighted for the fans because like I said, the fans have travelled in numbers today, very vocal, very loud. Um, they were outstanding. Weren't they? they were outstanding, outstanding, and, and it's nice to see that we've, you know, put a little bit of a smile on the face. I know it's a draw, but um, you'd have took that at half time. And at half time, I guess one of the key messages was the next goal. It was always going to be crucial, wasn't it? When you when you two 0 down or two 0 up, the next goal is always the, the big one. Yeah, I, I said, I said in, at half time, I said, you know, you can just every game that I've been in charge of, it's probably apart from the Bambury game. Um, We've always had good spells at the start of the game and, and not scored. Um, and, and like you said, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what level you play at. Um, teams are always going to get chances. Um, and I know the the VIP one from 40 yards, which is a, which is a wonder strike. But then Gio shows character for a young lad. He's come out, you know what I mean. And it's it's, it's a tough environment. Um, but again, I'm pleased for Jordan Preston. You know, he's, he's come off the bench and, and made a little different. A great back heel. Played his part. Yeah. Played a part, and, and uh, you know, he's had to be patient. And, and John Lafoudo, like we've pushed him further, further forward, you know, to, to use, utilize his strengths, and, and it's paid off today. So, you know, credit to Chandler and and, and, and um, Lewis and, and for, the, for, for the input that they're given. And then just finally looking ahead now, it's a, you know, it's a busy little period we're in at the moment. Tuesday night again at, at home in the rearranged game against Chester. Yeah, well, this is only a good point if you if you followed up with it with a win at home. And I've said this on many occasions: our home form has not not been where we needed to be. Spending was always a fortress. Spending Moon, nobody liked to come to Spending Moon. We need to make get, get back to that, uh, making it a horrible place to come. Um, with the fans behind us, you know, we need them right at it from, from, from minute one. And um, there's some big decisions to make on, on Tuesday night because, like you say, some certain lads have, have certainly put themselves in the shop window.